In 1987, I was ready to die. In a 12-month period, I had lost my business to an unscrupulous partner, filed for personal bankruptcy, my lover committed suicide, and after rebounding into a relationship with an old boyfriend, I was left for a 19-year-old. My life was at its darkest point, and I had gone so far as to make a plan to end it. Then I met Bearheart. His words gave me hope, and my work with him since then has dramatically changed my life. It seemed only natural that a book on his teachings could inspire countless others, just as he helped and inspired me. Ah, you might call it a profession or a vocation or whatever it is, but it's a way of life, of uh, living with people and seeing to their well-being, whether it's mentally, physically, or otherwise. Try to make pe people feel good. Trained as a traditional healer of the Muscogee Creek tribe, as well as an ordained Baptist minister, Bearheart is adept at speaking across cultures. Each person has something great to offer. And from the smallest infant to the oldest person, I, I look at them as a human being that our Creator made. I don't care what color, they have life within. And I try to live in such a way that I can enhance within that person the, the desire to do their very best in whatever it is that they do. In continuous print since 1996, The Wind as My Mother seems to have struck a chord around the world. Some readers said it gave them the sense of purpose, direction, or inspiration they had been seeking for years. A trial lawyer told me it made him rethink his career and how he conducted it. I've heard stories of people taking the book into the hospital so its good energy would help their healing. Another reader keeps it by her bedside and when she has a question, opens it at random to find meaningful guidance. I hope it does the same for you.